I think by having this, it's just gonna make my life easier. So I did this little dragon eye with some little stars. Oh, and there's his little itty bitty face with his little cheekies. Hi, good morning, or I guess good afternoon. It is past 12 right now, but it is Monday and I am about to get started on this red panda in space custom that I am doing for um, a girl named Ashley. So Ashley, if you're watching this, hi. Thank you so much for getting a custom from me and also buying my other artwork. I am still accepting commissions, by the way. If anyone is interested, just contact me through email. Yeah. Today has been productive so far. Woke up, made some coffee, went to the gym, and after that I took a shower and I packaged up some paintings that I needed to do for a pretty long time now, so I have that out of the way. I kind of like updated my schedule now so I felt I don't really have that much structure working from home like with my art business and stuff like that so my boyfriend and I Britton we sat down and he helped me kind of like organize my days and my time so I can have like days dedicated to certain things pertaining to my art business. Monday is just going to be my catch-up day. This is for like customs that I need to catch up on. Also with like packaging and whatnot. Tuesday is for personal work and I'm also going to start doing like my short form video on Tuesday. Um, Morty is trying to get out because I didn't even know he was in here. Wednesday is for active custom work and also finishing up editing the video from Tuesday and trying to upload it. And Thursday is a day dedicated to working on other things, like other art things. I'm not sure if I can exactly say it right now, but it's something big and I need to dedicate one day a week to work on that. Friday is my experimental day. Saturday is gonna be like a light work day. I can kind of just like wrap up whatever I need in the morning and then after that we can do whatever. And then Sunday is just like, I'm completely off. I didn't do anything work-wise. Maybe just a little bit of social media work, but yeah. Um, and I think this is really gonna work. I think by having this, it's just gonna make my life easier. I'm gonna have more structure and I think I'm gonna get more done too. Anyway, um, I said what I wanted to say and I'm gonna go get started trying to finish this custom up. So yeah, I will see you later. So I did some catching up with some custom work today. I finished this dragon eye. I messaged the customer asking them if they liked it to kind of see what, just what they thought of it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, what I have so far. It kind of looks a little bit too overexposed so you can't really see the like complexities of like the shadows and highlights. But yeah, so I did this little dragon eye with some little stars. And the scales, there were a lot of scales, so yeah. And I also worked a little bit more on that red panda painting, the galaxy one. This is what it looks like so far. I just worked on the background. The red panda looks very not detailed because I usually like to do the background first for my paintings. And then I start working on the foreground after I do the background. 
Uh, but yeah, uh, for kind of like these little, like, I don't know if you can see the little swirly details, I sprayed the canvas first with water. Then I kind of took my brush and I kind of did just like some like little random squigglies. Then I took a fluffy brush and I just kind of like pat it so then it would um, disperse, I don't know, kind of blur out a little bit. I put some white acrylic paint on a kind of old frayed brush and I just kind of flicked it with my finger. And that's what I did with the stars and then I brought out some of the stars by adding some like little um, I guess blooms I don't know what you would call it I think I'm almost done with work today the only thing that I want to get finished is um, I'm making a post for just kind of announcing the print for March for my patreon I am just kind of making a little bit of a marketing photo and I can show you what I have so far. Okay, so this is what I have so far. Just kind of like a light pink background with like um, a very, very light pink grid. And I put what the print is going to look like. It's going to be a five by seven. To the side, I'm gonna put just kind of like the rewards for that tier. I'm really excited to see this finished. I love seeing artists do kind of like their promotional photos for their Patreon and Instagram. They always look so cute and very well designed. So I'm excited to, I'm excited to post that. So yeah. <laughs> so I will check back in later tonight and I'll show you what I have for that, the finished product. So yeah. By the way, um, all day today, I usually watch like studio vlogs all day while I work, but sometimes it can be kind of distracting and sometimes I just don't feel like listening to music. So a really good in between is podcasts and I am just binging ologies with Ali Ward on Spotify. If you know that podcast, comment, comment down below like your favorite episode or what do you, what you like about it. Also feel free to recommend any podcasts. Oh, hi, it's her bobby pin under the couch cushion. Allie Ward and listen. Happy Wednesday. Uh, yesterday I didn't film because I ended up not feeling very well yesterday so I didn't feel like picking up the camera and I actually didn't work yesterday so I just took the day off. But it is Wednesday and I am back to work this morning. I just worked on a bat painting. The last painting I did was inspired by the bat that looks like a jam donut. I'll insert a photo right here. So I put like some icing on its head and like a little cherry and I really love the way it looked and it kind of made me think like I kind of want to do more dessert themed bats so this one is gonna let be like a cookies and cream themed bat and this is what I have so far let me see if I can zoom you in yeah there's his little itty bitty face with his little cheekies and it's gonna have some like cookies <laughs> And I'm thinking about doing some like little fairy wings on the cookies and a, like a little kind of like earring kind of in motion on the ear and I'm going to do a moon too. The background just kind of has some like out of focus um, trees. So yeah, really excited. I'm almost done with it. So, but I have been working on that for like three hours today so I think I'm gonna take a break from it and I'm gonna try to do some video editing. I started editing a video on me working on some clay trays so I think I'm gonna try to have that finished up and uploaded. I have a schedule that I made. I'm gonna try to upload every Wednesday and every Sunday. Wednesday is gonna be like my short form video and then I think Sunday is gonna be dedicated to more of the longer form videos which are like most likely gonna be vlogs and in the meantime i'm also just kind of like catching up on commissions and whatnot i am going to include some footage here pretty soon of me working on the bat's snout because that's what i was working on this morning and i also worked on the ears and it took me so long to render the ears because a bat's ear is so complex because you know it needs to be it's a bat i'll see you later 
With the host now free from his nameless grave, noted how he and the others could hear the host's brain bubbling in the skull. Ew. So you can't see my head. Cool. I'm about to do some product photography for the bath that I just finished. So for my photos, I just take them on my back patio on some like marble scrapbook paper. And I have like a box. The camera is currently on the box right now, but I have a box of different like fake plants that I use for like the props for my photos. I'll just show you. Okay, so this is the box of props that I have. So it's just a collection of different like leaves and uh, fake flowers and whatnot. All right, so this is what I have for the flat lay setup. I think it looks really good. And now I'm going to take some photos and just do some final editing and Photoshop. And then it'll be ready to get listed on my shop. Hello! It is Saturday. Yesterday I didn't film. Yesterday was Friday, obviously. I didn't feel like filming yesterday. Um, but today is typically my day off. I typically take like Saturdays and Sundays off, you know, having a weekend to not work. But I decided to do a little bit of just casual painting today. I'm going to be working on the red panda painting that I was working on on Monday. I decided that I'm going to add some like little planets in the background to just kind of tie in and I guess break up the background. So I'm very, very excited. And I think I'm going to varnish the most recent painting that I just finished. I don't know if I showed you already, but I will go ahead and show you again. It's of a little bat with flying fairy Oreos surrounding it and a little mace earring. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I am kind of getting more pleased with my compositions lately of my paintings and it makes me really happy. Um, I have some coffee. It is like 3 p.m. and I'm drinking coffee. That's not like abnormal though. But I've definitely had coffee before at like 8 p.m. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get to it. I'll see you soon. My coffee's already cold. Ah, I think I'm gonna put on some Crumb. Do you know Crumb, the band? I love them. I love them so much. I feel like I'm definitely in a Crumb mood. A couple days ago, I was in a Modest Mouse mood. <laughs> Modest Mouse was like... One of my favorite bands in high school. Yeah. Anyway, I think I'm gonna work because once I start talking about music, I'm just gonna like get really distracted. So I really need to like get better organization shelves for my studio. It's so hectic. I'm thinking about actually doing a before and after, like a studio makeover video. I think that'd be really good. Now I'm just thinking that I really need to clean my studio. Okay, I think I might do that today too. But I also want to make a separate video on it. Mm. There's so much I want to do. I wish there was like five of me. Um, I used to have like these green stencils that I got from a craft store. And it's like, it's like a green rectangle and it has like little cut out circles so you can use it to like trace like perfect circles. I don't know where it went. So I think I'm going to try to find different round objects to just trace the circles because I want the planets to be like a perfect circle. Well, as perfect as I can get it. So I found this paint too, and I'm going to use the lid to trace a circle. My desk is so messy, so I apologize in advance, but I'm just gonna be using a pencil to trace the cap. Hmm. This is where I keep my pencil sharpener and all of the, the pencil shavings. <laughs> Can 
you know what? I'm gonna use my white colored pencil. One kind of belongs right here. I'm just gonna kind of freehand it. I'm gonna do like a medium sized one. Alright, she is all varnished and shiny and protected. Yay! All I have to do is add a fixture to the back and it'll be ready to ship off. Thank you, Ashley! Alright, that is the end of this vlog. I will see you in next week's vlog. I'll probably just be cuddling with Morty and I'm gonna start editing this vlog today. So, it's a pretty chill Sunday. I hope you liked this video. Um, like and subscribe, leave a comment if you want. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>